Hi everyone, I'm Don Hornstein, your professor for this course. This is a very quick video to introduce us to Coursera's website for our course, what its key features are, and how to move around it. You'll be seeing plenty of me, so let me take this opportunity to turn the rest of this quick video over to some of the wonderful teaching assistants that we've hired to help me with this course. I'll see you in class and welcome to this Introduction to Environmental Law and Policy. Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm the teaching assistant for Professor Hornstein when he teaches the full undergraduate environmental law and policy course at the University of North Carolina. And I'm Caroline, Professor Hornstein's head TA when he teaches the course at Duke University. The teaching assistants for this course will include students from the UNC School of Law as well as undergraduate students from UNC who are some of the top alumni from the full course. In a few minutes, some of the other law student TAs will show you around the course tabs on the left of your screen. But right now, we want to jump down to the discussion forums under Community. Our philosophy as teaching assistants is to correct mistakes when we see them, but also to recognize and applaud students when they make good and often excellent points. And we love to answer questions, no matter how simple or basic you think they are. We are never sharp or mean in our comments, so it's important for you to remember that when you participate in the discussion forums, to always be civil, especially when commenting on another classmate's post. Nobody likes a jerk. But the discussion forums are where a lot of the learning takes place, and that's not only when Professor Hornstein and the teaching assistants participate, that includes you and your classmates. And your classmates are amazing. They're from all over the world, and so they bring to the discussions a huge range of experience and expertise. So definitely check out the discussion forums, and enjoy the class. We'll see you online. Hi, I'm Nicole. One of the very first features of the course website is the announcements section. Here is where you'll find current and past announcements relevant to the course that will be posted from time to time. Just below that, you'll find a section entitled Weekly Readings. Each week, we'll post cases and materials that will be the subject of that week's lecture. The best way to get the most out of each lecture is to do the readings ahead of time. The good news is Professor Hornstein has edited each of the cases to make them short and readable. And you'll still be reading actual cases as opposed to a case summary. Hello everyone, I'm Rory. And if for some reason you just don't have the time to read the material before a lecture, Professor Hornstein does this cool thing called the One Minute Lawyer, where he summarizes the cases in a one minute segment. Now, the One Minute Lawyer is kind of funny because Professor Hornstein will dress down uh, in a t-shirt and he says that if you don't have the time to read the cases, then he doesn't have the time to put on a tie. The One Minute Lawyer is the next best thing to reading the cases, but sometimes he does go over a minute. Hi everyone, I'm Heather. The four weekly video lectures are the heart of this course. The lectures will last between 10 and 20 minutes. On average, they'll be about 15 minutes. Remember that it's important to read the readings or watch the One Minute Lawyer before watching the online lectures. Occasionally, and sometimes often, Professor Hornstein will ask your opinion about a hypothetical situation relevant to the topic. You will have choices to choose from, and you'll often be able to see what your classmates have chosen as well. These are a lot of fun, and they're also a great way to test that you're learning the material. The fourth lecture each week is the Theory Lecture, which offers insight into the theoretical perspectives of each topic, often using an economic theory. These are a lot of fun as well because Professor Hornstein will dress up in a tuxedo for these. Usually there are no separate readings required for the Theory Lecture. Hey everyone, I'm Kira. Each week there's a short weekly quiz comprised of eight multiple choice, true, false, and yes or no questions. You can take these quizzes at any point during the course, and you can even take them all at the end if you want. To obtain a statement of accomplishment, you need to only take the quizzes and receive a 75% or 6 out of 8 questions correct. The best part is, you can retake the quiz if you don't get the score that you want. As long as you keep up with the lectures and material, you should have no problem with the quizzes. To complete this course successfully with a statement of accomplishment, you do not need to do the peer review exercise. But if you want to, this essay exercise will be posted in the second week to be completed after the second week's readings. In order to obtain a statement of accomplishment with distinction, the peer review exercise must be completed in a satisfactory manner along with the research exercise. There will be more information regarding the research exercise posted in week five. Hi everyone, I'm Cynthia. As Kira said, in week five we'll be posting a legal research exercise, which you must complete in order to achieve a statement of accomplishment with distinction, but you'll probably want to do either way. Developed by Professor Hornstein and the UNC School of Law's wonderful library experts, this exercise will orient you to some legal online databases that are free and some environmental law resources that you can use 
to contribute to topics posted by your classmates on the online discussion boards and which you can use well after the course has ended. Much more information will be available about this exercise when it posts. From time to time, Professor Hornstein will be available to talk with you live on Google Hangouts. Will, the course's chief technology teaching assistant, will set these up for us. In addition, Professor Hornstein may bring in other environmental lawyers, environmental law professors, and experts in the field. Sometimes you may even have the chance to ask these experts questions live on the Hangout. We'll send out advance notice and instructions on how to participate. If you're unable to catch the Hangout live, we'll have an archive here where you can watch the videos whenever you want. Hey, my name is Anurag. Welcome to Environmental Law and Policy. Hi, I'm Will. I look forward to helping you out. Hey, y'all. I'm Alex. Hey, guys. I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Ina, and I can't wait to see you guys online. Hi, I'm Catherine. Hi, my name is Karen. Hi, I'm Troy. I look forward to engaging all of you in the course. Hi, my name is Pooja, and I look forward to the next six weeks. Hi, I'm Megan, and I can't wait to hear from all of you in the discussion forum.